two area performers will receive national television spotlights within days of each other. Star Newman of Sarasota will appear on Friday's season 8 finale of the CW's Penn & Teller, Fool Us, in which magicians perform in front of the famed magic comedy duo. Then on Monday, Simple Flores of the Fearless Flores family Daredevils based in Sarasota, Maine AT will compete on NBC's America's Got Talent, Extreme, a series spin-off centered on stunt performers. Newman, 42, has performed magic professionally for about 27 years, incorporating comedy and primarily performing at private and corporate events. She said she'd actually been in touch with the show a few years earlier after sending in a videotaped routine before her appearance materialized this season. Filming took place in summer 2021 in Penn and Teller's theater at the Rio Casino in Las Vegas. Along with the duo, Penn and Teller, Fool Us also features Alison Hannigan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and How I Met Your Mother fame as the show's host. Though Newman couldn't reveal what exactly she will perform on the show, she said it was great to receive the feedback of the famed magicians and that she had the chance to interact with Teller and Hannigan offstage. It was a wonderful, amazing experience, Newman said. Their crew was on top of everything. For Flores, her appearance on Extreme will actually mark a return to the world of America's Got Talent. A then 13-year-old Flores and her family appeared on season 6 of the series in 2011, performing a Globe of Death motorcycle stunt. Flores, now 24, will perform with a breakaway sway pole 65 feet in the air on Extreme. She auditioned for the show in fall 2021 in Atlanta, driving overnight from Memphis, Tennessee where she was performing at the time, Flores said. Along with America's Got Talent judge Simon Cowell and host Terry Crews, Extreme Features wrestling star Nikki Bella and Motorsports competitor Travis Pastrana as judges as well. Pastrana being a judge was exciting because he was a big influence growing up, Flores said, and getting to meet her fellow contestants and kindred spirits in stunt performing was especially meaningful. You don't meet people like that at a normal grocery store, Flores said. It was almost like this whole world that kind of came together of all these extreme stunt performers. And then just building off each other's ideas and just talking about what could be possible, it was really cool. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified when next a video is uploaded.